So guys, just once you get in, um, you want to delete these three things. Go to File, Append to your 3D model. And I'll have the um, downloads that I use, basically everything you need, um, in the description, the pack that I use. So once you have once you have this, press Object, then go to all of these, and then press Append. And once you appended it, it should look something like this. Then shade smooth to make it smooth. Just do it a few times to make sure it works. And then after that, you want to press on this like circle thing up there. And then that makes it have the color. So now that you have that, I'm going to start posing the character. Um, what I, so I have, um, so wait. You want to do is go to append wherever you have it saved. Um, I'm just gonna do uh, um, a shotgun. Let's see. Um, this is a charge shotgun. Object. Select all of these. Append again, and then it will be. It should be like really, really small. By the way, if you if if that thing means like where it's gonna be. So right there is where it's gonna be. So you wanna make it bigger, obviously. So that happens. So then drag this out too. Okay, once you have it a little bit bigger. Okay, that's about good. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Just make it a little bit thicker. Okay. Now that you have this, now that you have your gun, just go the up arrow, go to the arrow tool, um, go to the um, rotation tool, make it um, go up or whatever you, way you want it. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that over there, a trick I do to pose the character. So I go into add, so make sure an object mode, you have to be an object mode to do this. Go to camera, and once you got it in the camera, then you want to move it go over here. Up. Okay, so once you have that, you might want to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, once it's bigger now, you also want to do that. And then you can go to the, um, you can just move it back, go down a little bit. And then if you press this, that's what the camera's looking at. So, you want to rotate this if you want it to be straight. Then once you have it straight, you want to... It, whatever you want the camera angle to be like, um, just you want to do that. But for my example, I'm just going to go up a little bit. Let's see. One more. Okay, there. So, is that straight? Uh, about. Let's turn this a little bit. Oh yeah, that's better. I'm just going to go up a little bit. This is actually not what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to do this to pose the character. So, once it's up a little bit more. What I like to do, because sometimes it's hard to get into this, but in a good position to see what the character is like. So, go into pose mode. Then, once you're in pose mode, then you can, um, like, move the character's stuff around. Um, body parts and stuff. For the face, I recommend not using the rotate tool. And the move tool is always better for the face and then um just like move it around and see what you think is better so once you um like you can change everything in here like the hair go down a little bit more okay yeah and then we can go back and then okay i'm not gonna do that yet because i'm not done and then once you go in here you can go and then what you want to do is move the mouth because right now it's more like expressionless and you're not smiling or frowning or anything. Then if your thumbnail or whatever you want to make, if you want to make the character happy, obviously do that. You want to drag these up into the side of the mouth and then once you do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, object mode. Click on this, and then zoom back. Okay, yeah, that definitely looks a lot better, right? Okay, so now, once you have that, I'm gonna just move the camera, because I don't need this right now. 
I'll use it later. But just move back. Okay, now that we have that, we wanna um move the weapon or whatever you have the characters holding, or you don't have to make it hold anything at all. So what you wanna do is go to the move tool, um size it how big you want that it is, like the if the character is bigger, then make the weapon bigger. Okay, once you go over here, then I'm gonna rotate it. So it's a rotate tool. And go up. Go around. A little bit like that. Okay. Just move this a little bit. Okay. Once you have that, then what you wanna do? Just go to the move tool and then put it where you want the um, weapon to be. And once you have that, make it go back a little bit. Have more of an angle. Okay. Once you have that, then you want to move it where you want it to be. Okay. Don't worry. It's not gonna look like this when you're done. So once you have this, I'm gonna move the camera to get a better view of it. So go closer a little bit, and then a little bit down. Let's see. Okay, so what I want to do is go over here, then I'm going to click on these, if you don't want to see these, go over here, and then it won't show them, or you can press on this, but once you have um, selected the black lines, go to pose mode, since you're in pose mode, you want to go to the rotate tool, always, you basically always want to use the rotate tool unless you're doing something with the face. Object mode. It's in object mode. Text. Okay, now that we have the text over here, move it under the leg. Now down. And make it bigger. You guys see it's really skinny. And then make it whatever you want it says. Okay, there, I got it. It's just a little bit slow. So, type whatever you want. Okay, once you have that, make sure you select it. Go here. Then go to Geometry Extrude. Yeah, one. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now, honestly, I might want to do a little bit more. However, you want the text look. Okay. So it's like this, and then it's like this. So then you want to go to rotate it. You can choose any font you want. So I'll go over that in like a minute. So now you want to make it taller. Okay, so now that you make it taller and wider and overall just bigger, and maybe a little bit smaller. Okay. That's better. Now you want to go to drop down font and then go to wherever you have your font stored. I'm just going to use um, Burbank because I like that font. Okay, now that we have this, I'm going to download it basically anywhere. Um, now that you have this, you can, if you want to change the color, 
I want to go into. I'm not playback. You want to go into shader editor. Make sure you have this selected, and then go to object. Okay, so now I meant object. Sorry, new serial. Yeah, I have that. I can zoom in. I can just go up more. Base color. Change the color, whatever color you want. Um, I'm gonna make it like red, pink maybe. I like pink. Yeah, that looks nice. Ah, this is gonna be matched though. Um, I'm just gonna make it blue. I don't really care if it matches. Okay, that's good. Um, now drag this back down. And once you have this. Make sure you can make it so you can see it in the camera. So, for this, I'm going to make it behind the character. Then, yes, it's definitely not where we want it. The camera is pointing down, so... Uh, point the camera up. Let me it a couple of them. Let's see. It's not going to be... Yeah, it's way too high. Make it more center. Okay. So, once you have this, maybe make it go back a little bit, even. Okay. This goes Okay, once you have that. Let's see, angle it down. Angle it down. Um, you can change this and stuff, whatever you want in here to make it look better. Or however you want it. Then I'm gonna make this to maybe 50. I'm gonna change it. Yeah, that definitely makes it a lot better. Once you change the focal length to whatever you wanted it to be, yeah, that makes it just worse if I do that. Um, and I always accidentally do that. Okay, go a little bit closer. Once you have this, a good angle. You want to go, and I'm going to move the text, so make sure you can see it in the camera. This is going to be what you're rendering. Make sure it's a little bit back, so it's not like on the character or anything. And then I'm just going to go to that, wrong one. Okay, yeah, that's better. And then I'm just going to change the text a little bit. It's like wobbly. Not wobbly, it's just not a great angle so now that you have it better like this I'm gonna angle it however you want to make yours okay now that you've moved your text um okay one, there I moved it it's perfect now. okay um well, it's not perfect but now you want to go into um your your um wait yeah the camera thing i can move this oh well i hate when that happens it's actually so annoying okay now that i move it that's definitely too far yeah okay, A little bit more. okay that's better the character isn't exactly like centered, but that will be okay. Um, wait. Okay, this is literally the most annoying. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go on to like where the text ends. So. Okay, and I can go down to. Yeah, that's good, okay. So now that you have this, you know, add some lighting. So, you wanna go, the shading, go to world, I'm pretty sure. Add environment. Okay, once you have the environment texture in, you wanna delete this. Go over here, match. Um. Okay, I think I just messed it up. Wait. Okay, there. Color with color. That with that. And then go 
bathroom to wherever you have your HDRs um, saved. And then I'm gonna go to show you how to get that. I'm just gonna go to approaching the storm. Put that one in. Let's see. Let's go on here. Let's see. Yeah, that's how. So now the lighting looks better. But I'm still gonna add a little bit more. Okay. Now that the lighting looks more natural, I'm gonna go back to your layout. And then once you're back in layout, you wanna add some more lighting, just a little bit more. Add, uh, what is it? Mesh cube. So you have your cube, you wanna make it taller. Yeah, you just want to make it bigger in general. Okay. So once you have a good size you want, whatever, um, go move this. Make sure it's not in the camera. So mine is a little bit in the camera right now. I'm just going to move it a little bit back. Okay. I'm going to angle my camera because it's... Well, it's not, I don't know if it's exactly straight, but yeah. So now you go over here, move it in, just as close as you can get, so the lighting is even better. Okay. Okay, guys. So now you want to drag this up. Go there. And then go to, um, add, oh, new, I forgot. Add, nation. So go here. You want to go drag. Wait, I'm gonna go move this a little bit. See how it's way too far out. Okay, now that you have this, I'm just gonna move this up. Okay. Okay, guys, so you can delete this. Um, just, where is it? Delete. And then go into emission and drag emission to surface. And then, once you have that, make the lighting to however much you want it. So I'm gonna do like around maybe five. And then now it's more strong. And then now the lighting is even better, okay. So you have that, I'm gonna copy it. So, so it has the same settings. I'm gonna copy and paste. And move this out of the camera lens. I don't think you can see that. Yeah, that's good. Um, now that you're in this, the lighting is definitely a lot better. And now you want to go into um, you want to go into the render. You want to go make the cycles render engine. Whatever you have better. I'm gonna do GPU because I have a good GPU. And then go to make it the lower setting you make it the faster will render but if you want it to look good go to about like 900 or something and then once you have that then go into film make this transparent unless you want that background so now it's like this okay once you have that you basically i'm pretty sure you're good to go so now you're just going to press render render image and now it's going to start rendering it might take a while but yeah I open your photo editing software, so I need Photoshop. Okay guys, once you have it open, then um, I'm going to go over to my pack, and then I'm going to go here, then and find backgrounds, then I'm just going to choose a random one, let's see, I'm just going to use, um, it doesn't really matter, I'm going to use this one, better. yeah. It's just like that, it's fine. But, um, when you have it, then put it in here. Press shift to make sure it's not stretched out. Let's shift down. Then, once you have it, um, so once you have it dragged out, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of a blur. So, put it blur, Gaussian blur. I'm just gonna put like a three, open. 
um, wherever you saved it. So now that you have this, put it in. Make sure it's sized correctly. You have to make this smaller. Okay, so once you have it sized and everything, then you can just um, export it. Um, click export as PNG. Downloads. Thumbnail. Tutorial. Okay, now that you have it saved, um, that's basically it, guys. So. Now that you have everything saved, that's basically going to be it for the tutorial. You can change like the brightness and contrast or whatever you want in this. But um, now that you have it, let's see. doesn't look bad. And yeah, that's how you make um, 3D thumbnails in uh, um, Blender. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.